Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and full disclosure it has been about three and a half weeks since I have filmed a video so I might be a little bit rusty. I am also playing catch up so you are going to see some April boxes here on the channel through May but hopefully I'll be caught up by the end of the month. We'll definitely have a bunch of mashups which is where I open two to three boxes all in one video. I do try to keep all of my videos around 20 minutes so there's something that you can sit and watch and enjoy maybe when you're in between things or doing chores around the house but as always I definitely appreciate all of your continued support and hopefully you'll also join me for for my 5k Q&A. You guys submitted some great questions and that should be posting for you in just a few days. But today's box is, like I said, one of the April boxes that was waiting for me when I got home from my trip and it is Hugo Box, which is a total mystery lifestyle box every month. They have two different subscription sizes. They have their standard box, which starts at, I believe, $42 per month. If you do a multi-month subscription right up front, you save a lot of money. It is $10 in shipping for or the smaller box and then this one this is the deluxe box which usually has one to two extra items that starts at just a little bit more at $44 per month again the savings comes when you do a multi-month subscription and that has a shipping cost of $12 so a little bit more for that because of course there is more weight there's more quantity sometimes they even have to send this box in a little mailer bag with an extra item if it doesn't fit inside I will leave a referral link for you that will get you five percent off and this is one of the boxes that I do pay for myself so I'm always interested to see what we've got I think I just got a shipping notification in fact that my May box is on the way so you might actually get two Hugo boxes uh, in this same month and of course inside of the box they do tell us all about the concept of Hugo which in case you haven't heard is the Danish concept of coziness it's a whole way of life a lifestyle even though uh, this is the only box that's called Hugo box I do think a lot of the lifestyle boxes that I really enjoy and open here on the channel do have that theme of Hugo of that sort of uh, clean and simple way of living and that is what I absolutely adore so let's go ahead and open it up and we have our nice little art print that they always provide for us in a square format and then it just says shop Hugo down there at the bottom and then on the back they tell us all about the contents there's usually a little introductory paragraph the bottom paragraph usually tells us what is in the deluxe boxes that was not in the standard boxes in every Hugo box they do promise an element of light as well as an edible indulgence and something lovely to drink just kind of helping you savor those simple lovely Hugo Hugelig moments in life. So I'm going to prop this up in front of me. It says the theme is joyful journey. So kind of a general theme, right? Because every box has a Hugo theme. And we have some kind of minty tissue paper. On the inside cover of the box on the lid, they do tell you a little bit more about Hugo, which I think is great. What I just uh, kind of glimpsed over this uh, right before I opened it. And uh, it says Americans have been in pursuit of happiness and living out their lives. They've been seeking Hugo, but many didn't know there was a name for it until recently and the beauty of Hugo is that it is about making time for self-care so I will say this is an American company that does this box some of the Hugo boxes that I open are from other countries again it is a kind of Scandinavian idea specifically Danish but as far as I know Hugo box is an American company although based on the names of some of the folks who I've spoken to via email I do think they might have some Scandinavian roots so let me open it up. Okay, okay. So we've got a little envelope. It looks like a little care package, and that's what I really think about this box as is a nice care package for myself or someone you might gift it to. I usually can't swing like, you know, obviously, again, the big savings come when you do like a year-long subscription, and I have been subscribed to this box probably for a good three years, if not longer than that. I've had my channel for about three and a half years, uh, and uh, I, I can do about three months so and then uh, you know it always kind of hits my bank account but I do enjoy it so much and every time you know I've kind of stopped for a while I kind of played around and said I might have to put this on pause for a while or downgrade to the standard box for a while which the standard box is great as well but I just felt too much FOMO those few months when I did the standard box. All right, so we have a delicious adaptogenic coffee from London New Tropics. So it's probably one of those like mushroom coffee blends is what I'm guessing, but it comes in this very swanky little envelope. But let me go ahead and read the introductory paragraph. Sometimes I don't read that off 
right away in the beginning because they have a lot of spoilers, but I think it's okay. So it says, open the curtains and let the sun shine in. So they actually put let sunshine as one word, let the sunshine in versus you could do it as the noun and the verb sunshine in. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, does it? It says, open the curtains and let the sun shine in. Take advantage of this beautiful time of year to explore the world around you. Whether you choose to enjoy a cup of coffee outside, mm -hmm, take a walk in the park or plant some herbs in your garden. There's no better time than now to seize the day and make the most of it. But don't just stop there. This could be the year that you learn something new, like the art of forest bathing or how to make a charcuterie board. Take some time to lie still among the trees, listen to the birds and bees, and breathe in the fresh air. Whatever you choose to do, make sure to take the time to truly savor the experience. With you as your guide, you can embark on a journey of discovery and find happiness in the little things. And that is what Huga is really all about. And that's what I really love about boxes with that theme is because I personally always need that reminder to slow down and savor all of those little beautiful things that are surrounding us all the time, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll talk more about the adaptogenic coffee when we get to that paragraph, but I do like to try to open things up in order if possible because it makes a little bit more sense in terms of the narrative from Hugo Box. So we have our element of light, and this is from Hugo House, which is kind of their in-house brand, I believe. I think it's their in-house label. It says these are greenery garland lights. So it's a set of 20 warm LED lights for indoor use only. So yes, sometimes we get nice fairy lights, strands. A lot of times we get candles, which of course I love, but this is always kind of something fun as well. So it says, bring the beauty of nature indoors and create an enchanted garden in your home any time of the year with a forever plant. Greenery garland lights feature lush faux leaves and a delicate copper wire that is flexible and easy to shape. Here we go. Here's your little sneak peek of it. And with a battery operated design, these lights are convenient to use and can be placed anywhere without the need for electrical outlets. In low light, these look really magical because of course in low light, you can't really tell that they're faux, faux leaves, right? I'm amazed that they fit that into that little box and I will never be able to fit it back into that little box, but Yes, I could see how in low light these would be lovely. So there's just a little twist tie. You know, what would be really fun is if you actually made like a, you know, a flower crown out of these for Halloween or for your garden party that you're hosting. They might get a little hot, but I think you could do it because look, it's just this little tiny battery pack, the one where you pull the tab instead of usually we get those ones that take like three or four AA batteries and those can be kind of cumbersome if you're trying to hide it in a jar and do that sort of fairy light look. So look how long these are. This would be really pretty on the interior of your home, maybe along your bed um, or up on your crown molding, again, where people wouldn't necessarily know that they were faux. If you could even have them coming out of a real philodendron, for example, I think these are kind of supposed to be philodendrons. Um, and that would be really cool. And this, so it would kind of extend it. That's what I did in college. I was always really, it was very important to me to always have some real plants in my college dorm rooms. So I always had a philodendron that I had to get someone to plant sit for me every summer when I went home or somewhere else. And then I would uh, have the little long arms kind of going around my my room or the common room and my roommates, I think, thought I was crazy. But look how long this is, you guys. It's almost like a nice open lay. But yes, you could definitely make a fun flower crown and double that up. I think that would be really, really cool. I'm not going to turn it on right now because I want to be able to enjoy it, but I am thinking it probably does, I hope it has a switch. It does have a switch. Good. So you can obviously turn them off and kind of enjoy them. And then hopefully it is a replaceable battery. Uh, it looks like it might be. I'm not totally sure because there's like the little screws, but hopefully, hopefully it is. So that's really fun. I actually really like that. Very hugelig and the leaves look pretty realistic from a distance, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and put that off to the side. It says, for thousands of years, humans have been using plants, mushrooms, and other natural substances to enhance their body and mind. Mm-hmm. It says, uh, flow is made with lion's mane mushroom and rod rod 
Rhodiola and designed to help you discover motivation, mental clarity, and focus. Mojo is made with cordyceps mushrooms and Siberian ginseng, great for stamina and performance and has immune boosting properties for when you need to power up. London Nootropics, uh, Nootropics adaptogenic coffee blends are made with the highest quality natural adaptogens to help you flow through your day, free from preservatives and artificial sweeteners, just pure natural ingredients. So it looks like we got two of each of those uh, flavors or blends, I guess, like this. So I'm not sure if you do it. It says uh, barista style coffee, organic lines, main mushroom extract. So I'm guessing, I'm not sure if it's like a tea bag form or if it actually has like grounds in there. It kind of feels, it feels almost like a tea bag. I'm not entirely sure. So it says the same description here. Hmm, I'm guessing because it's so small that you do do it like a like a tea, but I'll have to maybe open one up, but it looks like a tea bag, doesn't it? I think it looks like a tea bag. So I will let you know in the comments if I open those up. Like which one should I use? Adaptogenic coffee. Huh. All right. Well, let's go ahead and open one up and just see, right? Because I think I can definitely use some nice tea. Hope, hopefully I'm not, oh, nope. It is definitely loose powder in there. It is not a tea bag. I got some all over, all over. So let's see what it says. Stir one sachet with 300 milliliters of hot water, one to two servings per day, and it is uh, vegan friendly. So, and hopefully it is desk friendly because now there is some on my desk. I probably could have shaken it around and figured out that it wasn't a tea bag, but I do this for you guys. All right, let's check out the next thing. We also have Farmer's Lavender Company Lavender Honey Liquid Hand Soap. All right, let me see where if I can find that in here. It says, it's just the thing to make you feel right at home with a gentle and welcoming fragrance that's simply divine. I'm guessing this is what it is. We'll find out together. It's specially crafted with a cleansing and moisturizing formula that's enriched with argan and coconut oil. So it's not only gentle on your hands, it's nourishing too. And get this, it's made by first generation lavender farmer so you know it's Hugelig. So I think I've gotten this brand before but always nice to have a cute little hand soap and it's always uh, good to have the little pump bottles because I find it's really easy to do if your hands are really dirty and you need to quickly clean um, and sometimes it just looks a little bit nicer than having those uh, soap bars uh, that are actually getting used not just the fancy ones that you have in your guest in your guest bath. I just have one bathroom in my apartment so uh, these are good because they're kind of smaller and they'll fit on the very limited counters space that I do have in the restroom, but also great, of course, in the kitchen. Says, ooh, this is more of like a lifestyle home item, and I love when that's what something that they include in this box. So this is all wrapped up. I'm guess wondering if you guys can figure out what it is. It says, with its warm natural finish and unique wood grain, each mini mango wood bowl is a one-of-a-kind piece that adds a touch of natural beauty to any space. Use it to serve small snacks or to hold jewelry and other trinkets or simply display it as a beautiful accent piece on your coffee table or kitchen counter. And with its Scandinavian-inspired design, it captures the essence of Hugelig. We have a nice little tulip here. It's says, uh, let's see, um, evoking a sense of sim simplicity, warmth, and comfort. Not suitable for hot liquids. Wipe clean with damp cloth. Do not soak in water. It's like the, uh, drug <laughs> contraindications, right, that they always list at the end of the, at the end of the commercial. So, uh, the cleaning instructions, but it has like this nice enamel, but I do like that very springy kind of tulip design. Very cute and kind of reminds me of like the time that I've spent in, in Denmark, for example. So cute. All right. Let's see what our delicious treat is because, of course, we get an edible indulgence, too. And it sounds like we actually have it a more... Um, savory option this time. A lot of times we get a sweet treat and of course I love that but if all of the boxes are gonna be shifting away from those delicious melty chocolate treats as the weather gets a little bit warmer so we might be seeing a little bit more in terms of the savory. This is from Lady Joseph and this would be the final item in the standard boxes. So we have some delicious herbed crackers. It says artisan stone ground flour slowly bake for 12 hours to create the perfect aromatic herbs cracker with a thin crunchy texture perfect for snacking alone or with hummus sausages and creamy cheeses. No additives or dyes or palm oil it is a product of Spain which is where I just got back from. And you guys, I did not bring like 
very few if actually like no souvenirs except for memories and photographs which is totally fine but I'm kind of excited to try this and I actually got some nice cheese the other day when I was restocking my pantry and my fridge so I might have to have a little snack dinner with these that's gonna be kind of cool all right of course you can't bring back the uh, Hamon Iberico because that would be naughty we're not allowed to bring that back into the States all right, so in the standard boxes, we got the greenery garland lights, we got our adaptogenetic, uh, our adaptogen coffees and we got four sachets we got our lavender honey liquid hand soap our mini mango wood bowl and the herb crackers so of course I love a trinket dish so that's probably one of my favorites and I actually really like this uh, garland just because it's so long and I can totally see that adding some character to a room I might even kind of put it behind me that might be kind of cute now finally in the deluxe box now this is interesting I think I have gotten this same one in another box because this is a very um kind of popular theme you'll see it so it says this beauty is not just any ordinary cheese board oh no it's sourced from responsibly managed forests, so you can feel good knowing that it's eco-friendly you guys look how cute this is with the little bees it says uh and this hexagon shape is just the bees knees it's handcrafted from solid beechwood and finished with natural oil to ensure it lasts for years to come and the design oh it's just whimsical with honey combs and a bee permanently laser etched onto the surface it's the sweetest little board for serving snacks I think I actually got this in a bee themed uh, lifestyle box which was only around for about a year but it was so so cute they did such a good job and I think that's where I have seen a board just like this if not it was maybe in another box that is no longer which was wildflower cup club they did a great bee themed box which had a lot of things like this but I think this was from um, I forget it was like simplicity something you guys have to help me remember but it was one of my favorite little lifestyle boxes they did such a good job with the theming and I think this little guy came in that so this is from talisman designs but look at how great those etchings are and of course I love the little bees you have to be really careful of that you uh, wash these really well you know not scratching the surface but also getting anything out of those little etchings but they're not super deep which is kind of nice so I think that would be so perfect for my dinner that's kind of shaping up right now which is going to be those herbed crackers a little brie maybe some olives I do wish I brought some olives back from Spain and then I could just put them in this little bowl and have a little treat for myself what do you guys think I think that's uh, what I'm gonna do my husband just actually told me that he's gonna go out with the guys tonight I was like you have just gotten back from a two and a half week vacation but uh, I think I'm kind of excited about the opportunity to uh, treat myself you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I am so happy to be back and sharing all of these boxes with you let me know in the comments below what your favorite item in this very Hugelig box was from Hugo Box. Let me know some of your favorite boxes that are here on the channel. If you remember the name of the one that I was talking about, uh, bonus points for you. I'd love to see if we can remember collectively. And of course, if there's any boxes that you would like to see reviewed here on the channel, um, usually if I don't review them anymore, there's a reason for that. But if there's something you'd really like me to reach out to them again or uh, go ahead and purchase it, I can see if I can make room in my budget. I always love to hear those suggestions from you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here, and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.